Good morning. We know that as Christians, good works are part of the faith. In fact, James says, faith without works is dead. And we know these good works to be things like praying for each other, perhaps taking a meal to someone who needs that, who's helping the homeless, taking care of widows and orphans in their distress, as James again puts. Perhaps it's visiting someone, writing a letter or sending a card of encouragement, note of encouragement to someone, and these are good works that help define what Christianity is, and that's being like Jesus. But when it comes to our salvation, the only work that we have done is nothing. The good work comes from God through His Son, Jesus. We were unable to save ourselves. And so the work is done by God through Jesus. There's a gospel song that has the line, do your best and God does the rest. And it's a great lyrical line, but it's full of falsehood because God does it 100% through Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Let's think about the good thing that God has done for us through Jesus as we partake of this Lord's Supper. Father, we thank you that we can take this bread and remember the sacrifice Jesus gave of his body on the cross, willingly dying for us. We thank you for your love and the good work through Jesus. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for this grape juice that we will partake of together, reminding us of the shed blood of Jesus on the cross, that the blood cleanses us and makes us perfect in your eyes. And we thank you and honor you and Jesus in our thoughts, our words, and in our prayers. We praise you and thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we offer this prayer and thank you for the gifts that you have showered on us. We thank you for our health, for jobs, for incomes, for homes to live in, cars to drive. Because like the salvation that comes only through you, we thank you for the gifts that have all come from you also. And may we use our gifts, Father, that you've given us to share with others the talents and abilities and the funds that you have entrusted to us. May they be for everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.